Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of the best ways to perform a deep copy in modern JavaScript. So this technique uses a recently added function called structured clone. And it's a good alternative to doing something like a json.stringify followed by a json.parse. There are also a few more benefits to this technique, one of them being that it is proven to be faster in many situations, especially on larger objects. And it's also going to maintain any circular references that you may have. Okay, so in the first half of today's video, I'm going to be exploring the shallow versus deep objects problem and why you even need to consider this structured clone function. And of course, the second half is gonna be using that function to create some deep copies. Now, just I'll let you guys know now that this technique here is really simple to do. So I'm sure you're gonna be excited after watching this video, but we've got this object right here called person. And we have a couple of properties on this object, one of them being name equal to a simple string DOM. Then of course, hobbies is an array of my hobbies. So you can see here what the problem is going to be, okay? A shallow copy is only going to make an actual copy of the primitives, in this case here, the name, the string, but the hobbies array is only gonna be copied across by reference, which means your cloned object is going to essentially just be a new reference to the same array. So let's explore that point further. So I'll drop down here and I'll say const person cloned equal to, then using object spread, we can say dot, 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 then say person. So now we've got a new object, okay, called person cloned, and it is not equal to the person object. This also includes the name property. The name of DOM is copied across, and those are both independent strings, which means if I was to update person.name, it is not going to affect the person cloned.name property. They're independent. But of course, the hobbies is not copied across. Instead, we have two objects referencing the same array. Let's prove this. We'll hop down here. We'll say console.log person. Uh, is equal to person cloned. So just simply checking if these two objects are equal to each other. We expect this to be false because of course we have actually created a new object here. The second log is gonna be person.hobbies equal to person clones.hobbies. This one here is gonna give us true because they are referencing the exact same array. We can run this script here and we can see we get false as we expect and then true as the second console log. So that second true is the problem in which structured clone resolves, okay? Let's prove this point further, just for you guys who may not fully understand just yet, but if I was to say person.hobbies.push and I add an item to the array, let's say I also like to do some running, okay? I can now say console.log person cloned.hobbies and even though I'm referencing the person object here, person clones.hobbies is also gonna have the running item. I can run this and of course we get running right there, logged out when I reference person clones.hobbies. So let's solve this problem using structured clone. Cause I expect that most of you, when you're copying across an object, you probably want it to be a deep clone just meaning that you want your nested arrays and objects to be copied across and up by reference. Now, keep in mind that the structured clone function is fairly recent. So you wanna be using Node.js 17 or above, or if you're in the browser, things like I think Chrome 98. I'll just uh, open documentation right here. So I'll leave this linked down below, but if I was to go down to browser compatibility, you can see that you have things like yeah, Chrome 98, Edge 98, Firefox 94, and some of these have been released even in the past year. So this is as of September 2022. Um, so obviously in a few years time, it's gonna be a lot more supported, but keep in mind that you know it is still fairly recent and you should probably stick to using it 
in Node.js or if you've got a polyfill or something like that. So let's hop back into VS Code and explore that function. It's gonna be very straightforward. We're gonna change this object spread to instead say structured clone, then pass through here person. So now it's gonna create a deep copy of this object using the structured clone algorithm. Okay, I can run this, we get false and false. So now the hobbies in the cloned object is different altogether from the original hobbies. Let's prove this. I'll say person.hobbies.push. I'll add running once again. Then I'll log out uh, the person cloned.hobbies. Last time we saw this add to the uh, second reference, but this time it is not added to the cloned hobbies. So that right there, that single line of code is all you need to do to create a deep clone in modern JavaScript, okay? Now, I do wanna also mention that you can apply or you can call the structured clone function on many things, not just arrays and objects. So if I was to go inside uh, documentation once again, you can see here, you have all of these supported types, all of your primitives aside from symbols, you got, you know, strings, booleans, um, you got blob, regular expressions, files, obviously arrays, objects. There are so many things you can call the structured clone function on. Some of the things you can't call it on are, are class references and functions. So I think those are probably more of the most common ones that you might want to call on, but cannot do it. Um, but of course, in most situations, you guys are probably gonna be copying arrays and objects anyway, so you wouldn't need to worry about that. Now, one last thing to explore in uh, this video is going to be uh, essentially, you know, multi, multi-leveled nesting. So we see here we got a single layer. You have the person at this level. Then you got the hobbies as a nested array. What if you had a nested object inside a nested object and so on? That also works. So up down here, I'll say something like a car. So my car, I'll just say that, uh, you know, my car, I'll just say, you know, service history, okay? I'll say this car has been serviced in 2015, um, you know, 2019, and then of course, 2021, right? So I'm saying here, we got this nested object inside this object, then I got the array, which is nested inside this object, so you got multiple levels here, but it's still gonna copy across. So I'll say here, person dot car dot service history, do these equal each other? We're gonna see false. I'll run this script and we get false right there. So the service history, even though it's a few levels deep, is still gonna be copied across by value and not have the same reference as the original. So like I said earlier, all of the documentation is gonna be linked down below if you're interested. And that is all for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.